it um, snowed yesterday and it stopped snowing approximately 10 minutes ago. It's a, it's a winter wonderland out there. You can hear the plows. Um, so as the weekend before Halloween, you can probably guess I wasn't expecting this quite. Um, and so all of our stuff is packed away, including all of our coffee. <laughs> And I just made myself a nice little cup of tea in this mug that my mom got me. It's a cute little mini jack-o-lantern. Um, truly a reminder of the Disney adult path I almost went down, if not for the pandemic, ripping me away from the Disney college program. So I guess she's trying to keep me in check. I don't know. It's still way too hot. Hello. It's Rosie and welcome to our November reset. October flew by obviously, but that's just because life has been insane and we're in a crazy ass period of change. So naturally the days went fast. I am clearly in the middle towards the end of moving. We officially got our keys on Friday. This is Sunday. Um, Kevin brought over some stuff yesterday before the snow started and now our official moving date is this upcoming Saturday. So this is the last time you're gonna see this background. The next video is gonna be a moving vlog and then an empty house tour. And yeah, I'm so excited. We're both just like ready to get this done. I cannot wait to not live in this apartment complex anymore and to have just more space and be in a new area. Some fresh energy is what we really need. So. I'm excited for November. Um, October, let's do a quick little recap. Um, though it went quick, it was eventful. We started off with a week in Austin because I had a work trip. That was a super fun week because I got to meet a lot of new people along with getting to meet a bunch of people that I've already spoken to, but in person. And also seeing um, one of my coworkers like on my team. So that was really fun, enjoyed it. I love Austin, Austin's a great place. Came back immediately we got into packing mode. We signed our lease like two days after I got back <laughs> and we just sort of started getting ready. I'm so happy that we got it done early when we did because there were so many fun holiday October-y things that I wanted to get to and I was scared I wouldn't be able to because I'd have to work in house showings and you know really just have to work around the actual moving situation um, but got it done, signed, sealed, delivered and now we we're getting ready to move in and it's crazy. Um, we've been slowly packing sort of for the whole month. So that was nice because it was bits and pieces and it wasn't just all at once crazy rush like it has been in the past. <laughs> um, so that was good. I'd say we're about 85% packed right now, almost 90. All of my little tchotchkes are out and about and I have some clothes that are scattered amongst rooms. But besides that, really a lot of our stuff is put away. I just finished the office today and it's it's feeling real real love it uh the other fun spooky things that i had time to do because we finished that so early uh were we we went to the stanley hotel and we saw the haunted objects podcast live we got to meet greg and dana and um i have a whole vlog about all these spooky things that i will link below so that'll be linked below if you want to hear more about it but we did that we went on a ghost tour of denver which was cute and fun and what else? Oh, well, I was in Austin. I went to the Museum of the Weird, so I, I'd count that. That was fun. That was cool. And yeah, uh, this month truly just went so fast. And now we are getting ready for the holidays. So we've got Halloween, obviously. And then Ken and I's third anniversary is in November, the weekend of Thanksgiving. We have Thanksgiving and then we're going to have Christmas and it's all just going to go so fast from here. Um, so I'm very excited to be in the new house. I've just got the, the decorating urge. I'm so excited to have a room that is simply just mine to decorate. I don't have to take into consideration, you know, not using pink for everything, which Kenan wouldn't even really care, but I prefer like a neutral if I know that it's not just going to be me. Um, and for my main living space, but you know, I'm going to go ham on my office. I, uh, I just have so many ideas and I cannot wait to make them a reality. It's going to be great. I feel like that pretty much encompasses October. Like I said, it went fast. Most of it was packing and staying inside and trying to figure that out. Oh, oh, 
this will this will segue us into the favorite section of this these are my october favorites here we go um i did see number one the errors movie incredible fantastic phenomenal job i have essentially seen the entire errors tour through tiktok at this point but still it was wonderful to see live got to see it with my bestie amanda and i got to meet one of her friends ashley and we've hung out now and she's super cool and so that was fun a new friendship making experience and um yeah uh that was just phenomenal and obviously with the release of 1989 taylor's version harry styles you are in trouble bitch as a harry stan first and foremost he's in time out like honestly he fucked her up real good considering they were not together that long um so good on you taylor i am not putting 1989 taylor's version in this round of favorites because it came out two days ago but it will be a november favorites don't you worry because i already know i love the vault tracks i think they're my favorite vault tracks thus far so those will probably be on the next favorites anyways saw that and then along with that my other favorite movie i guess of the month we went to go see the talking heads stop making sense live movie um they put it up at a movie theater near us like as a reboot and we saw it with our friends dave and mish and it was just so fun i'd never seen it live i've listened to the album um but you know there are a couple songs that i really love just off the bat and then the rest of them are sort of nonsensical but after watching it live like i get it it's just about vibes you're not supposed to understand really what the hell david Byrne is talking about you're just supposed to enjoy the fact that he's doing his fun little loopy dances and he has a beautiful voice and after watching the movie live i can do that so that is my other favorite movie of the month and with that let's go into music because that album the live stop making sense movie album is on my fall playlist been listening to it a ton very much enjoying now that i understand how to approach the music next um, oh, Chapel Roan released her first full-length album at the end? Yeah, at the end of September. I think we saw her literally September 29th, and it had come out that week. Um, and so that's been on repeat this month. Oh, she just has such a gorgeous voice. She has one of those voices that I'm like, wow, you are perfect. And I love her music. It's just so fun and upbeat, but so queer. It's just so great. So my favorites off the album are the album first of all i can't remember if i said it or not the rise and fall of a midwest princess my faves are california feminine phenomenon hard to say occasionally um <laughs> super graphic ultra modern girl and after midnight love the whole album but those are the ones every single one of those was new to me um whereas the rest of her album is singles that i've heard before <laughs> and love those but they are once again not new these are fresh fun funky fresh all right and then obviously queen of gen z olivia rodrigo came out with her new album um i really loved uh, what was it sour i listened to sour all the way through back when it first came out and i liked it and then i took a little while longer to listen to this one because i'm not in like a breakup emo phase of my life right now um but i did really love all american bitch big fan have had that stuck in my head literally on and off all month so banging job olivia okay i have one podcast to share i share this also in my spooky vlog so listen there if you want to hear more about it but the witch podcast by bbc fantastically produced beautifully done it connects the history of the witch trials in both europe and america to current modern day witches and how they practice and how they're misconceived okay there we go there we go it is so beautifully done and i really like the host i think her name was india she just like had a lovely little journey and i highly recommend even though we're leaving the season of the witch as lana del rey would say um still a great listen tv only show i've watched uh the fall of the house of usher watched it in two nights fantastic job mike flanagan everything he makes i enjoy the only thing i haven't I figured out actually there are two things i haven't seen by him um one is the haunting of bly manor which i've tried to start three times and i should theoretically like it because it's based on the turning of the screw and i love that in undergrad but for whatever reason i haven't been able to get through it yet and then the midnight club uh but i just started that and i am enjoying it so i think i'm going to continue 
But besides those, I have enjoyed and watched and loved everything Mike Flanagan has done on Netflix over the past few years. And uh, the fall of the House of Usher is no different. Carla Gugino, Gugino, Gugino. I don't know how to say her last name, but she's hot as hell and she's so talented. So like Slay Queen, that was such a good role for her. And everyone in that, so good. Um, so yeah, if you're an Edgar Allan Poe ho or a Mike Flanagan girly or just like spooky things in general, go check that out. I'm sure you probably have, but go check it out. Book, I only have one book. It is a butcher, what is the, okay, yeah. It's called Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. And it's a part of the Ruinous Love Trilogy, which I didn't know, but there were a lot of hints along the way that that would be, it would be one of those series about brothers and the girls that they pick up. Um, but it was, it was very good. It was a quick, easy read, a fun, spooky romance type book because they were they're like serial killers who kill serial killers um which i mean i enjoyed i thought it was unique uh it was a lot spicier than expected a little kinky i'm not gonna lie so that's a warning for you when you go into it but if you're into that it was good and then i'll just toss in stardew valley as a fun extra favorite i played seven hours of it yesterday um it just comes in and out of my life at random times uh, mainly when I'm stressed or sick and I'm like, you know what I need? Stardew Valley, where I can control everything that's going on. It feels weird to grip her like this, but it helps. If you play Stardew Valley, I just got most of Ginger Island unlocked. I haven't been able to do that in the past. I think I have like 66 golden walnuts and now I'm finally feeling like the, oh, I want to do this. So we're going for Mr. Key's cabinet. Um, yeah. <laughs> that is my fun little favorites roundup of October and I think I think I think it's time to review the goals I think we did all right we didn't do perfect but also crazy month as I said can't be too hard on yourself so let's go let's see what we got done all right we're coming back to the classic format because this is possibly the last time I'll be able to do it like this because I have no idea what the filming space is going to be like in the next place. Um, and also, I'm not feeling lazy today, so that's good. Uh, let's review, shall we? Number one, work through the food in our kitchen in preparation of the move. We did do that. We got through a lot of the stuff that we had in the freezer and in the fridge. And I mean, we did buy quite a bit more groceries. Um, but also, we have a little cooler that we realized we can use in the move. And... We can bring a lot of our stuff with us, so not too bad. Next, film the moving process. I did. I filmed all the packing, thus, well, not all the packing. I filmed like a good chunk of the packing so you get an idea of where we are. And if you wanna check that out, I'll link the moving uh, playlist I have below. It's still going, it will continue to go until the new house is all set up. And then, yeah, once we get to the new house, I will be filming the decoration and like the real fun part. Next, donate and sell some clothes. Ya bitch did that. I hit Plato's Closet, up, down, left, right. We really got, I think I sold like $100 worth, which is, which is good. I mean, it's something. I'm putting it towards house stuff. So love that. Got rid of a lot of clothes and I did sell some Depop stuff and I kept up with it. So pretty slay. Next, do three Halloween activities. I did. Watch the vlog below. <laughs> Next, read two physical books at least. I read one. And then we packed up all my books and I was like, oh, whoops. So, I mean, that's my bad, but I did read six books total this month. So, hey, if so, if they were digital, if five of them were digital, that's five books I didn't own physically. And so that's fine. Next. <laughs> oh, this is our last one. Our last one was be packed by 1025. We did not do that. Today is 1029 and we are still back in, but that is okay because we took it nice and slow and it's not a huge rush, especially because we have like about a week and a half of overlap between our lease starting at the new place and our lease ending here. And most of it's going to be gone by next weekend anyway, if not all, hopefully all, but you know, we got a little extra time, so it'll be fine. Now let's look at our November goals. November goal number one read five books. I love throwing a book one in there, you know, especially because November is going to be like a very cozy, get warm inside, make a new place comfortable kind of month. 
and I feel like I'm gonna need to find the best places to read in my new home so let's try to read a lot of books. I also want to see just how many books I can read before the end of the year. I'm currently at 62, 61. I'm currently at 61. My original goal was 52. I think I'm aiming for 75. Seems ambitious, but we'll see. Next, be 75% unpacked by Thanksgiving. I mean, obviously the goal is 100% as soon as possible, but knowing myself and knowing the fact that there is still a box that we didn't unpack a year and a half ago when we moved here, um, 75% is reasonable. Next, no clothes buying until Black Friday. And even then, if there's nothing specifically on my list that has a really good deal, we're not buying anything. I really just need to get the finances in check, especially with the big move. And especially because I want to put a lot of my money towards home stuff. And you know, like stuff we need in the new place. Since we have more space, we need to buy a dining room table. We need to buy dining room chairs. I need to buy stuff for the office. And yeah, <sighs> clothes can take a back seat for a little while. Next, as I said, buy a dining room table. Very important because we're looking to host Friendsgiving. And you can't really do Friendsgiving without a freaking dining room table. That's kind of very important. So next, create a solid morning routine. That I had on and off here, not a super ton. Um, but this next place we're in for the longest I'll have been in a place thus far. We'll be there for 18 months. And after Christmas, I don't have any plans to travel until as of right now, May. I know more stuff will pop up. But I'm looking to establish a good routine or at least try and figure one out before the holidays. So that way when we come back from the holidays, I can go back to something rather than just starting all over again and living in chaos for a month. So that that's the plan at the very least. That's the hope here. <laughs> and so that is where we landed with the goals. Those are the goals we're going for next month. Um, looking ahead it's going to be a lot of moving content still it's going to be decorating so i hope you enjoy some interior decorating type stuff uh, it'll be getting ready for thanksgiving um i definitely want to film a fun little reading vlog i think in november i'm not quite sure how i'll do that i don't know how i want to format it because i've i've watched people and they all do sort of similar things but i don't know i feel like it's kind of boring if i just show you me reading and then i don't know I don't know i'll figure it out because i want to do it i just need to figure out how to do it in a way that seems interesting to me and yeah i was also thinking on top of all of that i don't do like monthly recaps on what i've read because i'm planning on doing one huge reading like recap at the end of the year um possibly a part of vlogmas um i just had a stroke uh but <laughs> I really am like every time we get to the end of the month I'm like oh I should recap the books I read because I remember them but I think that might be something I might start next year with next year's resets which honestly will be crazy because my wow I have been doing monthly resets since September of 2022 personally like I have started implementing them alone and then I started filming YouTube videos for my Christmas haul. I think it was literally like January 1st. It was top of last year. So it will have been a full year of me uploading consistently, which is fun and cool and crazy because I'm not very good at sticking to hobbies, but this is a very fun, like rewarding one. Um, it just has let me be creative and let me share a lot of emotions and like connect with my friends connect with people i don't know you know connect with uh you so it's just been it's just been cool and i'm enjoying it a lot and i'm very happy and proud of myself that i've stuck with it thus far uh because we have one more reset left in the year and i think i will have done a reset for every month except may or june it's one of those two um but that's crazy and that's really good as someone who is bad at keeping habits going and habit tracking proud of myself for that uh yeah so that's all i have for you today i hope you enjoyed i hope you are also getting ready for the fun holiday season have a happy halloween take it off great babe i will be home 
uh, with Iggy, who is in a cone currently. Poor little baby got neutered. Uh, it was his first birthday yesterday, King. And I will be taking care of him because he's very, very needy, always. But especially now because he just keeps running around and banging into things. So uh, we didn't go out. Kenan also got exposed to COVID at work. So we were like, yeah, let's not go to a party with that. Plus a snowstorm, plus Iggy. So we're homebodies this year. That's okay by me. There's just so much going on. Um, but if you have any fun actual Halloween plans or you did anything fun this Halloween weekend, let me know. If you have any goals already for November, let me know because I want to hear. And that's that on that. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you had a great October. I hope November is even better to you. And I hope you're having a wonderful whatever time of day you are watching this. I love you. And I will talk to you very soon. Probably in a new location. Okay, bye.